So here we are at Devil's Den on a very humid summer morning. One of the interesting things about Devil's Den is that people come here to enjoy not just the battle action at Devil's Den or learn about the history, but also the natural history. We have the rocks themselves, which are an attraction, but we also have snakes. And, you know, there's lots of stories about the snakes at Devil's Den. But even, even though that's the case, I find that when people come here on the tour, they are surprised by the fact that we can often see a snake in the rocks. And, you know, it's really tough in the humid summer uh, to find snakes. But in the spring and the fall, when the, sun's are, sun, the snakes are sunning themselves, it's pretty easy to find a snake. And when I do school bus tours in the spring, I go out of my way to try to find a snake in a rock and point it out for the kids, and they get a big kick out of it. This particular crevice here in this rock, and maybe we can pan just a little bit to show everybody where we are. Um, on any given day in the uh, spring or the early summer before it's too hot, you can look in this crevice and usually you can see a snake. It's usually better to come here to look for snakes in the early morning uh, before it gets too hot when the snakes are trying to get some sun here. But uh, there's a, a famous incident that occurred in front of this rock, and we'll uh, post a photograph right here, uh, where Gary and I were doing a video for Gettysburg Daily, and I wanted to point out a snake, and we, didn't, we weren't able to point out a snake, but we found a snake skin in this rock that was longer than eight feet which is just amazing to me. Um, the, the large snakes in the rocks of Devil's Den usually are the black rat snake. And you know, they say they grow, they grow to be about uh, six feet, but I myself have seen larger snakes in the rocks. So um, who knows exactly how large they get. But of course, you know, uh, a lot of people would tell people uh, tell visitors in the past that the whole reason Devil's Den is called that is because of the large snakes. And probably the most famous snake story of all was told by Emanuel Bushman in 1875. He wrote a letter to the Baltimore Sun, and we have a copy of that letter. But it was also printed in the Gettysburg newspaper. And according to this letter, one sunny day in April of 1833, my brother and six others were exploring Round Top for the first time. The hill and surroundings were covered with a dense forest. As they were ascending the west side, they suddenly came upon a monster snake sunning itself upon the rocks. Part of them took to flight, but brother and two others stayed to see how it would end. They described it as a black snake, apparently turning gray with age. Brother hissed the dog on it and he thought from his capacious mouth that he would swallow the dog. They estimated its length to be within 15 to 20 feet and the thickness of an ordinary man's waist. They threw rocks at it from above and rolled it down into its den. Frank Armstrong saw it and was badly frightened. Father saw it before that about a mile from there at the big rocks called Devil's Den. Grandfather says in his time um, he saw it and mother says the Indians used to speak of it as heap big snake. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. Um, other people uh, afterwards kind of picked up on this. This was written in 1879 and became very popular as an explanation for why we call it Devil's Den. And there's a letter in 1913 by Sally Myers Stort, of course, who lived here at the time of the battle. Her uncle owned a farm on the other side of Big Round Top. And um, she spent a considerable amount of time here as a young girl. And she says in this letter, there is a wrong impression which I wish to correct. And that refers to the name Devil's Den. Many persons have been told that the name was given to those immense rocks because of the fierce fighting there during the battle. My uncle, John Plank, was one of the early settlers of the county and his farm included part of the Round Top. As a child, I have heard him tell of the snakes which infested the country and had their den among the huge rocks. Parties of men were organized to rid the neighborhood of these dangerous reptiles. One big old snake persistently eluded them. They could never kill or capture him, and they called him the devil. He finally disappeared in his den. So to Gettysburgers, that has always been the devil's den.
Of course, we do have earlier mentions of Devil's Den, and there's another reason uh, why we believe that people refer to this as Devil's Den, primarily because of the large rocks. And the fact that anywhere um, where there's large rocks is de generally uh, named after the devil or associated with the devil. And Pennsylvania Germans believed that the devil was putting rocks in their fields to mess with them. So yeah, there's more likely explanations of why it's called Devil's Den. But the large snake called the devil is um, a, a, a persistent story that has been told over and over again by locals to Battlefield visitors. Uh, when I wrote the book, Devil's Den, A History and Guide, uh, which came out in 1997, I believe, I, um, I did uh, some study at the park on the snakes that live here. And um, I found out that there, were, there are eight snakes that inhabit the Gettysburg National Military Park. And of course, you mentioned the black rat snake. There's also the northern black racer, the eastern hognose snake, the northern water snake, the garter snake, the northern copperhead, and the timber rattler snake. In the 1970s, there's several articles about the problems the park were having with rattlesnakes in the Rocks of Devil's Den, but I personally have never seen a rattlesnake on the battlefield. Although several times people pointed to a snake and said it was a rattlesnake and it was not. So I, I've never seen one, but so, you know, they are here uh, in low quantities and I've seen snakes many times over and over again all around the battlefield. So there are snakes at Devil's Den. Of course, there's probably not as many snakes in the main rocks because of the heavy visitation, especially with the kids climbing through the rocks, the, the snakes don't like it. But again, this particular rock here, you can often find a snake in the spring or in the fall.